Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, very, very exciting day for me from a data perspective because I have, I can find it, burned my first uh, ever M disk. This is it, video backup number one, 18th of the 5th, 2022. I also got this little, uh, I think it's a 96, 96 disk case from Amazon alongside the main star of the show the blu-ray disc burner from LG. Uh, this is specifically, I'm just gonna cover up the serial number just to be paranoid. Uh, it is the, but well, you can hopefully see the model number here, WP50NB40 Slim Portable Blu-ray DVD uh, writer from LG. Now, um, I wanna talk about how I got this to work in Ubuntu Linux. Those who are really following this YouTube channel might have seen a video came up saying, Hey, I got the uh, MDisk to work in K3B. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, it did say on the Amazon description that this, um, even though it wasn't officially supported, this guy would work in Ubuntu. Unfortunately, um, it appeared, the drive appeared in K3B. It recognized the um, MDisk Blu-ray media, and this is what I'm using. I'm using the 25 gigabyte uh, four times speed MDisks from uh, Verbatim. Um, it recognized that, it looked like it was writing, but it choked halfway through. So I put up the video a little bit prematurely because I thought the first one worked, but it didn't actually burn either. So I was not able to burn an M disk. I'm using Ubuntu 20, I'm using 20, I think. Um, I couldn't do it in Brazero. I couldn't do it in K3B, all the disk burning programs. I spent about 15 minutes researching it on Ask Ubuntu. And I saw very quickly that Blu-ray support on Ubuntu is really, really problematic. So I decided to go down the route of using a virtual machine. So I'm just gonna jump over to my screen here and show you guys what worked for me. So I just put into Google here, M-Disk burning software. And the first result that popped up was, you can see this uh, thing here called Burn Aware, free burning software. And it says specifically for DVD, Blu-ray and M-Disk. Um, so this is what I ended up using. Now, the point of this video is to say that I was able to use this um, running on an Ubuntu host in a virtual machine by VMware. And to my surprise, it worked really well. Um, I tested this disk that I burned, if I can find it, my first M disk. Um, I burned this, uh, took about 40 minutes to burn through. Uh, I filled up it to about 23 gigabytes. So it's definitely quite a slow uh, process, but of course, what you're sacrificing in speed, you're gaining in the stability of the data in terms of being written into supposedly a very, very durable uh, format. So it wasn't a quick process, about 40 minutes for uh, 20 gigs, but it did work even running in a virtual machine. Um, so I had it running in a virtual machine and I had to um, allow the virtual machine the VM in VMware to see the Blu-ray drive, which requires two uh, USB ports connected to the computer. And then as I said, I Googled M-Disk burning software, uh, found this burnaware stuff and saw that it specifically says that it has M-Disk support. Download that, you'll get the burnaware free version. It's free for non-commercial use, for personal use. Therefore, if you're just using it to back up your personal photos or like I'm doing my personal YouTube videos, I think you should be good. I downloaded this and um, it worked pretty seamlessly. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, so unfortunately, as I said, I wasn't able to get it working natively within Ubuntu, uh, but nevertheless, I didn't even need to go into a bare metal um, Windows um, installation in order to burn. I was able to do it all through a virtual machine and I used again uh, VMware for that, for that process. So I was personally really, really delighted with this process. Um, I only have about uh, a bit more uh, data in my archive, but uh, the process really wasn't bad. You can have the VMware machine running and be doing other things uh, while you're archiving your data. So uh, that um, I hope answers a question for the few other people in the world who are Ubuntu users and they're wondering um, if you know, uh, you're gonna be able to burn. Um, it looked to me as if the actual support, native support is very buggy. I couldn't find a, a Blu-ray player specifically rated or you know, saying officially supporting. Um, Ubuntu, but I did find this Blu-ray disc for about $90. This thing sent me back on Amazon and um, it did a fine job. Um, you know, it started spinning up and this guy can also do 
uh, DVDs and CDs as well. So a whole bunch of different kinds of optical media. So yeah, um, it's definitely possible to do it um, through a workaround. And uh, I'm glad to be writing my data in stone. And also coming up on this YouTube channel tomorrow, I'm actually interviewing uh, the guy who came up with this technology. Uh, the founder is a computer scientist based in the US and he has kindly agreed to do an interview with me. We're gonna talk about optical storage, we're gonna talk about bit rot and data rot, and we're gonna talk about this very intriguing MDisk project and uh, where it is really now. So uh, thank you guys for watching, more videos, and that video specifically coming soon onto this YouTube channel.